A coral bleaching event is unfolding in the Coral Sea as authorities continue to monitor conditions in the Great Barrier Reef. Researchers are becoming increasingly concerned with the warming ocean temperatures which are driving the event. The Great Barrier Reef is in its fifth mass coral bleaching event in the last decade. The aerial surveys are showing us that we now have widespread, often called mass coral bleaching across the surveyed reefs. Coral bleaching occurs when corals are under thermal stress. They expel an algae that live in their tissues, which causes them to become transparent, exposing their white skeleton. Sea surface temperatures across much of the marine park have been above the average warmest temperature for longer than eight weeks. Forecasts show they are set to remain high through the rest of the month. But out at Lady Elliot Island, we have seen some what we call heat stress and we're seeing a little bit of it like started to change slowly now. And it's not just our own reef that's in danger. This problem is not limited to Australia. We've seen severe bleaching during the Northern Hemisphere summer in the Caribbean and South America. We see similar threats facing reef systems in the Pacific, in Fiji, Vanuatu. Bleaching of corals doesn't always result in coral mortality, with some being able to recover if conditions cool. Researchers are calling on politicians to pay attention and help save Australia's coral wonderland. We really need to accelerate that shift beyond fossil fuels. Those on ground say it's up to all of us. Come and fall in love with the place. Because if you come out to the Great Barrier, wherever it might be, and see it and realise its beauty, that helps you to really fall in love and become passionate about trying to conserve it, preserve it and protect it. Nicolina Karufe, Sky News Weather.